Excuse the noise of my computer, the fans are ramping up. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so uh, today I'm just going to do uh, some coffee tasting, which I've never really done before. Uh, I've just got like a printout of like coffee cupping for dummies just to give myself a little bit of something to go by and... Yeah, see how we go. Um, so the coffees I'm going to be um, tasting today are uh, this coffee by Quist, uh, which is a local roastery here. Um, it's uh, Costa Rica Don Senel Catura. Uh, so Costa Rican. Yep, nothing to say. Nothing else to say about that one. And uh, I'm running a little bit low on these, but here's some other coffee from another local roaster, um, McIver's. It's uh, a geisha bear, a geisha uh, bean. It's the Ethiopian Hambler, which I've been drinking for a while now. Um, I really like it. Um, yep. And just because uh, I had some in the cupboard, I'm also going to be trying this pre-ground Sensory Labs um, Santo Organic Blend coffee, which I think is, you can actually get in the supermarket these days, which is kind of cool. Um, I haven't drunk much of it, uh, and I don't usually buy ground coffee, but it's it was in the cupboard, so I figured why not give it a shot. Um, it's going to be a bit of noise and stuff going on today, so I'm not using a proper microphone and also there's like construction happening outside my window. So uh, yeah, there'll be some noise. Cool. So I'll be keeping an eye on the chat in front of me. So that's my laptop just here. Um, while I do this, uh, I'll be in and out though. So I've got the kettle on over there. Um, it's set at 95 degrees and it's just going to stay on throughout. So um, yeah, I'll be in and out getting the hot water when I need it, which will just be to fill the cups, I think. Anyway. I'm going to uh, just start uh, grinding the coffee, um, or maybe I'll have a smell first. So I've got the, uh, I've got the Quist coffee here first, so that was the Costa Rican, um, which I think was a special run there. So interesting of all the coffees, the McIver's basically has no scent. Um, I'm not surprised there's a fair bit of smell coming off the Sensory Labs bean, so that's already ground. And the Quist one smells really interesting. It's also like 
much uh, darker roast than I would uh, normally get. So just for comparison, you've got the uh, MacIvers, the Ambler Geisha, which you can see is much lighter than the Costa Rican one. Anyway, it's down to the roast, I guess. All right, so time to get grinding. Oh, I didn't need to do that. It's one of those days. So it is the um, second day of uh, Melbourne's sixth snap. Oh, well, not sixth snap lockdown. It's our sixth lockdown. It's a snap lockdown. Um, uh, I'm here on my own this time. So I'm just sort of trying to come up with some activities to keep myself occupied. Uh, yeah, it's full on. Hopefully there aren't too many demonstrations and stuff. There were the day it got announced, so I don't know. And I live in the CBD, so it is it is something I, um, I'm a bit concerned about. distracting having the paper there I might maybe I'll move it off camera somewhere I'll just put it down here I think that looks better I hope the sound's going okay. Last video I did the sound, I think, didn't work properly, so. It's all a bit improvised. I'm just using the stuff I've got at home. So, um, just a hand grinder. This is like an awesome um, Hario Skirt and Pro that my uh, partner just got me for my birthday recently. That's cool. And these cups here are made by my partner's parents actually um, so there's these cool sort of espresso cups that um, her dad makes as well as this along with her, her mum um, yeah so they're cool cups probably should have weighed that. Hang on. I weighed it before I chucked the beans in, um, but I should probably check that, that we're getting the same amount of beans out as what's going in. Um, but so far from experience, this grind has been pretty good with that, like not having much retention. So I reckon I'll be okay, but I'll just check. Also, uh, the my scales are a bit worse for wear. I have to take the batteries out and put them back in whenever I want to turn it on um, because it's just a bit old. Anyway, it still works. How am I going to do this? I might just dump them on the plate and tear out the scales and pop that back in. Oh, this is a bad idea. The retention was all right, but my skills are not. So, um, 8.8 .8 and I was after nine grams. That's not quite good enough. I think there might be a little bit left here on the bottom of the, the jar here. So hopefully that brings me up to, I want it to be like 8.9 or nine. That'll do. Great. So, ooh, it smells good now. Okay. And I'll just 
quickly do McIver's coffee. I'm not going to explain heaps of what I'm doing, I think, just because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just learning as I go. Um, but by all means, if you've got any advice, just chip in and, uh, and, and uh, pop a note in the chat. So interesting, right away I can feel these beans are like way harder, which I think has to do with um, them being a lighter roast. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure the beans get more brittle the darker they're roasted. These are the dark ones. And I'm just touching this to like put some pressure to stop it from turning off again so I don't have to take the batteries in and out again. Probably should have set that mic up, but honestly, I just couldn't be bothered. Um, oh, it is what it is now, right? Cool. Gonna do it properly this time. <laughs> So I've lost a bit on this one as well. So this one's sitting at 8.8 um, .8, and again it's meant to be 9. So I'm just doing 150 grams of water in these cups because they're quite small. I think they can fit a little bit more but um, my camera just froze. I don't know why. Sorry about this, just a moment. I don't know what's going on. Uh, this is just the internal awesome webcam. Um, hopefully I can get this working again. Oh my God, that's so weird. All right, I'm gonna turn the camera on and off again and see if that's gonna be all right. Uh, till then, just you'll have to put up with this rubbish camera for a sec. That's oh, weird. It's got like a different logo on there and stuff than I've ever seen. All right, it's always the way, isn't it? else fails just take the battery out and put it back in again turn it on turn it off and turn it on again battery doesn't feel like it's heating up or anything it's gonna look like that maybe let it discharge for like say 10 seconds nine eight seven six five four three two one 
So, coffee cupping slash tech bloody... Uh, so annoying. Alright. Fingers crossed. I think that. Hopefully. Hopefully that's done the trick. I'm just going to leave the battery off the back. I might have to do this again. I was um, using this camera just last night and it was working fine. I think it's booting up now. Yeah, that looks all good. All right. Are we back in business? We are back in business. Great. Um, so, what have I got? I've got the grinder, some spoons, some, some water, some drinking water, coffee, Kettle on the boil. Got my um, phone, which I'll use as a timer. I'm just going to read through this um, cupping for dummies document and then uh, jump onto it, okay? Um, so yeah, none of this is ideal circumstances, but again, this is just about me um, learning a bit more about like uh, coffee tasting and stuff, trying to get a bit more articulate, which my partner was giving me crap about before. All right, I'll need them again in a minute. Does the like lack of symmetry annoy people? I don't need you guys to like see the rest of my dirty apartment either, so uh, that'll do. <laughs> oh, it's gotten a bit laggy too. Oh, uh, blah blah blah. All right, cool. I think I know what I'm doing next. So the water's all boiling now. Um, well, not boiling, it's at the appropriate temperature. I'm just gonna go and grab it. This is the kind of stuff I should be doing on Twitch or should I be doing this on YouTube? I don't know, I'm sort of like, been getting into using Twitch lately um, over YouTube, although I've been on YouTube for like a long time. And, um, but I don't know. I kind of like this platform. Even, anyway, who knows? It's a thing to explore, isn't it? So I'm going to be putting in 150 mil into this one, I think. Yep, 150 mil. Let's do it.
worth it. Uh, this one is 220 mil. I that fits, should do. Well, definitely making some nice smells in the house. Perfect. This guy will be 150 mil as well. Maybe I should just be live streaming on Instagram, I don't know. But I like to, you know, use OBS and stuff. So, I wonder if, like, there's a way to. Oh shoot, I put just a little bit too much water in there. Oh, well, see how we go. That's done. I'm just going to set the timer up for four minutes. And then I'll be back. Hmm, the quiz one smells really nice hmm they all smell very different No, I'm going to need another cup. I may as well use this amazing... Uh, drinking bowl I got from Brittany back in 2019 with my name on it which was more difficult than you think in France to find a cup with Marcel on it anyway hmm So I'm meant to be like scoring them. I don't really fully understand how. Um, I guess I should fill in the paperwork, eh? 
So we've got I'm just gonna light for quickness, right? Quist Quists and then sensory labs and lab and MacGyver's. I'll fill in the detail after that. Oh, timer, so it's been four minutes. Now I need to break the crust. <coughs> so I'm supposed to um, smell as I break the crust in a particular way because it's going to release some intense aromas apparently. And I'm meant to score the dry and wet aroma. I don't know what I'm scoring it out of, but oh, aroma low high. Oh yeah, and notes, which I'm guessing is smelling notes. So quist number one. Like got a lot of um, chocolatey smell. Um, it looks lovely. So maybe I'd probably put that in the middle as far as the aroma goes. And like, it's in that like chocolatey caramelly area, the smell. So I'm gonna scoop the crap off the top. I always use two spoons, I'm not quite sure how they do it, but it always seems to be easier with one spoon for me. Bad technique. Fuck it, I'm just gonna use one spoon and just go and get as much of this crap off the top as I can. Um, so I do a very similar thing with, like if I'm making a um, plunger at this sort of point. All right, cool. Next coffee is the sensory lab. This is like a the pre-ground one. Oh wow. This is like got so much more fruit in the smell. It's really nice. Super strong smell still. I put it a little bit higher. And like, hmm. Maybe apricot a little bit. I'm sure I'm doing this wrong. <laughs> All right, scoop the crap off the top of this one. OK. 
Okay. Lucky last. The McIvers. So much more floral. An apricot. Oh, that smells amazing. It smells like dried apricots. Like quite strongly of dried apricot. Scoop the stuff off. That just smelled so much better than the other ones, I won't lie. I mean, different, right? No such thing as good and bad or something. All right, what is next? So this one was obviously to at the high end and it was like dried apricot. Strong smelling. So next step. <sighs> Skip grind's done that. Evaluate flavour, aftertaste, acidity, acidity, body and balance. So I'm looking at flavour. After taste, acidity, body, and balance. Okay, Let's give this a go. Probably have like a separate spoon or a separate cup or whatever water for each one, each. Coffee cup, but hmm. Hmm. I'm just doing that because what that's what I've seen people do. <laughs> I don't think that's acidic at all. It's got a lot of body. The aftertaste is kind of nice, just sort of is lingering there in my mouth. 
All right, I'm going to just compare it to the next one. This has got like a bit of a barky kind of taste. A little bit of acidity. That one's much smoother. And not as nice aftertaste, it kind of just disappears. I don't know what balance means, so I don't know how I'm meant to evaluate that. Oh, it's got a bit of, mmm, that's just such a good coffee, mmm. It's not bubble gum, it's like... Pineapple or <laughs> Yeah, pineapple I think I reckon. Anyway, I'm meant to be like uh, so is it acidic? I want to get that on my... No. Sour. Maybe like a tiny bit, I guess. So it's probably pretty... Yeah, it's probably balanced. I guess that's what they were talking about. I don't understand the scoring sheet thing. I'm going to go back and like do a bit more research after this and then I'll probably repeat this um, exercise maybe tomorrow or the day after or something because <clears throat> I've got time on my hands Oh, interesting. I'm dropping heaps of frames. I wonder why. Or well, maybe it's not heaps. I've skipped frames. I don't know. My computer seems to be holding up fine. All right, back to the quists. What am I looking at now? I'm evaluating flavor. Oh, so it was flavor. I want to go back to 
the sensory lab one because there was something very interesting and fruity in there that I don't think I quite got. There's that kind of earthy bark taste. Um, Someone's been interacting with me on Instagram. <laughs> this has like a little bit of like, I think it's a bitterness. say about that it's like bitterness or sourness I still like it says so that's like very good um, all right hmm so uh, that aftertaste on this one has like a bit of a light similar to this I guess like a toffee kind of thing going on. Hmm. This one's getting better. So I'll be um, editing a short reel for the uh, coffee with M and K or M underscore K. Um, I went to Industry Roasters, I think they're called, or Industry Coffee uh, on Little Collins Street um, this morning, which was nice. I found it hard to find a place to go and have the coffee um, because there's lots of people around at the moment that are a little bit um, on edge, I guess, including me. So chocolatey. probably boring as for everyone. I don't know why I'm doing it, but I am. I just decided to turn that light off over there because I noticed it was like flicking on the side of my, flicking on the screen. I think it looks better too. Bit of a cinnamony sort of thing. There's a little bit of sweetness in it. It's actually quite good having the sensory lab in the middle. It's so like it's in between these two. They're, these are like polar opposites these two coffees um, in terms of taste and texture and 
Yeah, everything. I guess what's interesting is none of these. Maybe maybe that's like a bit nutty as well as chocolatey. Maybe, but none of them are like that real nutty taste you sometimes get. Mm. This isn't like a bad thing, but it's kind of like reminding me a bit of like that smell you get off like a banana that's like a on the like on the other side of too ripe. With chocolate. So chocolate and banana are good things, right? Be curious to see what it says on the um, on the bags in terms of the flavour notes. <laughs> I mean, there's no right and wrong here, right? Like it's just what I can taste. This one's starting to get more fruity, more sweet. I could just drink that all day. It's like really... I don't know if pineapple is the right thing. Oh, I got a weird... Note come up, what does it say? I heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord, but you don't really care for music, do you? Well, it goes, ah, ha, ha. Okay, cool. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I was like, what is that? Uh, yeah, good reference. I like it. Um... I don't know what it's got to do with me drinking coffee, but I'll take it. I'm going to keep on... Are you saying I look like... No, I don't know. What, what are you trying to say? I heard there was a secret chord that David played, and it pleased the Lord. But yeah. Is it just a religious no uh, reference, or is it a reference to... Um, Uh, what's his name? Um, oh, anyway, whatever. Cool, thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got the song. Um, uh, I guess which version of the song? Which is your favourite version of the song, Hallelujah. So the Leonard Cohen, ver Cohen version of it's your favourite?
I always think of um, the Jeff Buckley version of Hallelujah. Anyway, that's what I was sort of trying to trying to work out. I was like, oh, are you referring to to um, yeah. I don't know what I've got to do with Jeff Buckley or or Hallelujah, but anyway. Um, Yeah, right. <clears throat> well, it's a beautiful song. There's kind of like a bit of a like olivey sort of vibe going on with this. I know that sounds totally weird. Um Yeah. Did you ever get to see see him sing before, Leonard Cohen? I know. Um. So obviously, this accent. I'm in Australia, but he did come out here. Um, and played a few gigs out at uh, some wineries and stuff. So I know a few people who got to see him perform, but I never, unfortunately, uh, got to see him. Uh, so I'm just going to read the SCA cupping protocols. <laughs> um, that uh, So that's the Specialty Coffee Association protocols that um, I should... Yeah, anyway, you can look it up, but... Raise me up. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Uh, favorite song. I don't know. Raise me up. I'll look it up. I'm going to do it on my phone because it's probably going to wig out my mic. Hang on. Middle one just baffles me, but I think it's I think it's probably just because it's like a ground coffee. It's not as like yeah, it, it's not as punchy as these two. Like as different as these two coffees are, they're like there's a lot going on. It's 
waiting for the ads. I was really obsessed with um, the Pogue's pair of brown eyes for like a good couple of years. Um, but I don't know what my favourite song is at the moment. I'll check it out properly a bit later. Never go wrong with the song recommendation, right? Oh, the weather's so miserable out there today. Cool. This one's really starting to change a bit, I reckon. So it's just after one o'clock. I'm getting a bit hungry. I might have lunch soon, stop the stream, but this has been very fun. I always thought like doing this thing, you'd end up just like super hyped and like full of coffee, right? But I guess you're just having like tiny sips Okay, so there's like an audio meant to assess the like uh, different aspects of the tasting. So according to the SEA, so the first step is to assess the fragrance slash aroma within 15 minutes. I think we're like well beyond that at this point. Yeah, 25 minutes in, it's like, I'm supposed to be, uh, looking at acidity, body, uh, and balance. It says, uh, balance is the cuppers assessment of how well the flavor, aftertaste, uh, acidity, and body fit together in a synergistic combination. Okay, and then you go down to sweetness, uniformity, and clean, uh, cleanliness. Oh, there's like a point marking system as well, which I don't know anything about. Um, oh, I should say too, so... What's all this now? Oh, I'm reading through the... Uh, specialty coffee association cupping protocols so I'm just I've never um, I've never done this before so I'm just sort of like educating myself yeah 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 I'm Australian I'm in um, I'm in Victoria in Melbourne uh, which I don't know if you know but we've just gone into uh, our sixth lockdown um, 
and this is day two of that uh, lockdown so I'm just kind of trying to stay upbeat uh, especially since my partner's uh, working interstate how do I like the lockdowns well you know um, they have like a pretty full on like toll I guess like it's it's exhausting having to do it all the time um but at the same time like i guess yeah i don't know i don't i don't have i don't know what my opinion is on that like um i don't like lockdowns but they feel necessary is is what i should say no i don't have the vaccine um so uh it's in victoria anyway or in in melbourne particularly um it's not very easy to get The military were brought into Victoria uh, in Melbourne last year uh, when we went through, um, we had a lockdown that went for, uh, so we had an initial countrywide lockdown at the near the start of the year and then um, Victoria and Melbourne particularly went through an extended lockdown through most of last year. Uh, and the military came in to assist near the end of the year. I was actually, where I was living then, was next door to where uh, their operations were. And um, currently, I believe, because there's been like a dramatic rise in cases in New South Wales, um, the military have been called in to assist there. What, me cupping's a little crazy? <clears throat> yeah, look, it's um the the lockdown's been tough, but um I'm not here to uh, dwell on that stuff because I'm having a really hard time at the moment, um, and that's why I'm doing this so I don't focus on that. My partner's currently uh, on the other side of the country working she left for work the same day the lockdown was in an was announced and i was supposed to be joining her i yeah anyway sorry that's um for so many reasons like a bit um triggering so i'm just gonna leave that
I'm just messaging my partner. So she had a show open uh, last night. Uh, there's a big festival on in Darwin at the moment called Darwin Fest. And um, yeah, so anyway, just dropping a line to say hi. Sorry about this. I think I should just go. I'm just having basically a text conversation with my partner now. Um, was lovely to chat, uh, 97 Gooden. And um, yeah, I usually stream um, a few hours earlier than this. Uh, so like I said, it's around one o'clock here. Um, I usually uh, stream around 9, 30, 10 o'clock a.m which is plus 10 GMT time. Um, and it's actually usually me just doing my uh, French practice on Duolingo, to be honest. So <laughs> yeah, I just thought I'd do something different because I'm also very interested in coffee. Hope you enjoyed and um, yeah, see you all uh, on the other side.